Bulldogs are going to finish the season four and seven. A good win to wrap things up to build on for 2021. And Mike Leach's second year. As for Coach Montgomery and the Tulsa Golden Hurricane, really good season. Played for the American Athletic Conference Championship. Fell in that game and put up a good fight today. Just came up a little shy to Mike Leach and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Yeah, and he's got to be excited about what he has and the production that came out of his young players tonight. Obviously, Will Rogers, the quarterback, but then you know his two leading running backs. He's got a wide receiver, Jalen Wally, step up, and then Tulu Griffin. What a fantastic game by him as well. For Mark, Her Mark Herzlick and Ian Fitzsimmons, I'm Chris Cotter. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's send it back to the studio and the crew there. Final score here, 28-26, Mississippi State with the win. Just had that wrapped up this Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. Chris Cotter, Mark Kurtzlick, Ian Fitzsimmons is down on the field. Both of these teams came back together and it got ugly, Mark. Fisticuffs were thrown. Both of these benches, not, not only the way, I mean, they were cleared because they were meeting in midfield to shake hands, but it went all the way down to the far end zone. Yeah, I mean, this turned into a, a brawl. And, you know, this wasn't pushing and shoving that we saw before the game. I mean, th there were. Punches thrown. There was an intent to injure people. I mean, it, it, this is the type of situation where you are hoping that these players are able to walk away, these coaches are able to walk away with no one seriously injured. The coach is trying to separate the team. State troopers on the field. This is the aftermath of what just took place moments ago as the coaches met at midfield and we were signing off it got ugly in a hurry here's what it looked like and this right is the here, coaches there's... for both teams desperately trying to keep things up, these teams apart oh yeah i mean look at that I mean, th those are those are real punches being thrown that's the malik heath number four for mississippi state Daniel martin is into it with number seven for tulsa yeah Look, is, he has his helmet off. He's taking actual punches to the head. I mean, it's dangerous. I mean, that these are strong men hitting each other as hard as they can with no helmets on. Right now, you know, there's that layer of coaches in between them, but at some point, you, someone pushed a little bit. I mean, but look at this. I mean, look, kicked in the face. There was this great actual kick in the face this is something that began percolating before the game even began when both of these teams were warming up on the field a lot of jawing it progressed throughout the entire game and now this Ian you're down on the field what's hey. going on yep hey Chris can Darren Ray man right now the hard-hitting safety the leading tapper for Tulsa is being helped off the sideline right now he's having trouble breathing um, I mean it, it, it is nasty not even mean nasty I, I had to bring Aaron Roulet and a couple other Mississippi State players just telling them you're better than this. But right now, Kadarian Ray, I don't know if we have a camera on him right now as I'm crossing the, yeah, uh, the 40 him. here on the Tulsa side. I um, mean, it is it is not a good scene at all right now when, when it comes to the hard hitting safety for Tulsa. Well, and, and he was in the middle of that melee that, that just happened with, with, with Mississippi State. 
You, see, you saw Joe Gillespie, the defensive coordinator with the red jacket that was just walking in front of Ray. And this just got completely out of control after the game was over. Coaches met at midfield. And it has been percolating and building all game long. And finally, it ends here. I mean, th th there is, we talk about physical football games. We talk about the drawn blood on the, this is completely different, completely uncalled for. And it's disgraceful. I mean, you said it. I, I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if they're criminal charges, I mean, you can't, you can't do this. You, I mean, you can't rip people's helmet off and then go kick them in the face. I mean, it, this is uh, this is as bad as I've ever seen.